Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. Right, I don't think I've ever been so excited to wake up. Uh, today is going to be brilliant. I am on the Isle of Wight, for those of you who don't know. I did do a little live stream last night from the hotel, uh, but this morning I've woken up and I've just filled with energy. It's going to be so exciting today. I am going to the recording studio to give you my next musical masterpiece. And I'm not using those words lightly. I really do think this will be the best music I've ever made. Um, there's rapping, there's bars, there's singing, and all of it is wrapped up in a lovely kind of bouquet of um, helping the world, of eradicating a massive, massive stain on our society. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about it. It's great to be back on the Isle of Wight. I'm really excited about today. Um, after I've finished in the studio, I'll probably go for a stroll and give you some vloggy stuff. Uh, I've got some family to visit and stuff. Uh, the only downside was my bus journey yesterday. Um, after catching a train, I mean, I don't relish public transport, but it was okay. Got off the boat and I got on the bus in Cowles to Newport. And this very large gentleman sat behind me. Um, and the journey to Newport, about 20 minutes. And within five minutes of it, he passed wind three times. I wasn't sure it was him, first of all. I couldn't tell. And it was a stench. It was kind of acrid. It was burning my nostrils and my, uh, my eyes as well, uh, making them water. Anyway, I ascertained that it was him, kind of a process of deduction. Um, and he was given some kind of guilty little fidgets as well. Uh, so in order to kind of try and put a stop to it, I, um, I gave him the look, basically, which is where you turn around. Um, I can do it for you because I was sitting in front of him. I just gave him the look, kind of aggressive, you know. Um, and he tried to ignore me for like literally about 30 seconds, but he was forced to make eye contact with me to look at me. And as soon as he did, just shook my head, just to let him know it's not acceptable, really. Um, there's no excuse, no excuse for doing that, making everyone else suffer with your bodily smells. Um, a fart it is capable, you know, uh, the human body is capable of holding it in. Um, it's, it's not pleasant, you know, you've got to work it back up the kind of anal passage, it doesn't feel good and then you feel bloated and stuff, but you know, you should be the one in discomfort, not everyone else on the bloody bus. Um, anyway, that's off my chest now, that's off my chest. Right, let's get to the shoot, shoot studio and I will be back with you afterwards, I guess. Actually, let's give you... Right, I am all finished at the studio and it went brilliantly. I cannot wait to share this new track with you. It's all down to the rapping. First time I've rapped and I took to it like a duck to water. I've got an inner fire, you know, a spitting fury. Don't know why I'm surprised about that. Um, I think there's definitely a future there for me in a whole rap game. Now I'm pushing myself. Um, when you live in a shared house, like m many of you probably do with your families and stuff, there is um, a temptation when you stay in a hotel, when you've got some privacy, to kind of lose yourself in an overindulgence of sleep and masturbation. I'm determined not to do that. I've got energy today, so I'm going with it. I'm going out visiting now to be a Social. Um, so hopefully that will make the vlog a little bit better, a little bit more for you to see. Um, and then tonight I will do the ghost investigation. Yeah, really exciting stuff. Loving today. Right, I'm taking you up the garden to show you some animals. We've got Stanley here. Stanley. Say hey up. Me and um, me and Stanley, we. Oh crikey, where am I? Where am I? 
All right, me and Stanley, we get on well. It's kind of a mutual respect, a bond we've got, two alpha males together. Um, unfortunately, there are other creatures that I do not like quite so much. I'm gonna show you them and you'll probably all think they're cute, but you know how I feel about cats. These are kittens. Yeah, they're cute looking, but uh, I do maintain that all cats are spasmoids. There's an inherent selfishness to them. Look, what's that black one doing? Pouncing and stuff. It's ridiculous. Give me a dog any day of the week. Although I do like that one's little fluffy tail. What's he doing? I guess in a way, it's a kind of training exercise. You know, young cats learning. What he's doing there will one day be put into use in terms of pouncing and stuff on creatures, I guess. That one's not interested. I think he's planning to get by on Luke's alone. Hey up. See, if it was a dog and I was pointing the camera at him, be all interested. These guys, they're in their own little world. Slightly self-important. That's cat's feet. Right, the day is drawing to a close and night is falling. So I am off back to the hotel. It doesn't look like night's falling, but it is, look. Um, street lamps are on, I don't know, misleading maybe the sky behind me. Um, but yeah, I'm off back to the hotel now and uh, we're gonna get to the bottom of this whole ghost thing. I've heard more stories about it, uh, very heavily rumored to be haunted. So, um, I guess, yeah, the investigation starts here. Let's get back there and have a look. Right, it's about midnight now and we're now going to leave the room and just see if there's anything that can be seen. Um, just a preliminary investigation at this point. Okay, and I'm back in my room. I don't know whether the camera picked up on that, but there's a lot of noise coming from down the hallway, just downstairs. Um, and what it is, I think's happened, this building is also a pub, a very old pub downstairs. And I think the staff must have shut up and be having a drink down there. Obviously not ideal for ghost investigations. Uh, so I will maybe try again later, have a little explore late at night. Uh, I wanna get it sorted because I'm moving hotels tomorrow, um, but I'll talk to the staff in the morning maybe, try and interview them, see if they've got any ghost stories. I will get to the bottom of this. Um, right, I want to draw this vlog to a close now, so it'll have to be tomorrow, but I'll update you on that. Tomorrow is going to be an awesome day. I've got Honey, she was on a previous video when I was here last time. Uh, she's coming to film me and we're going to a theme park. So yeah, any suggestions, anything you want me to do, do leave it in the comments. Uh, and yeah, I'll be back with you tomorrow. It's been a great holiday so far though, having a brilliant time.